वॉचिंग चैनल वाई चैनल वाई अ साउथ एशियन कनेडियन चैनल we chatted with some parents and and a student about some of the concerns about the covid-19 impacts on families and one of the biggest impacts and a lot of concerns we heard from parents is the fact that they're worried about uh, their kids going back to school and that's why we've been fighting for funding at the federal level to support the return to school to make sure it's safe and the biggest request that we're hearing from parents the parents we spoke to today and what we've heard from experts is that experts are saying they need smaller classroom sizes that parents wanted to see smaller classroom sizes to ensure that we're doing everything possible to prevent the spread of covid-19 and to make sure kids are safe uh, in addition we know that a lot of families are struggling with the impact of covid-19 particularly the fact that it's impacted women so much we know that the job participation rate for women right now is the lowest it's been in 30 years that's three decades of gains that have been lost And just today we heard from a parent who shared her own story before COVID-19 that uh, years ago she had to make the difficult choice because it was so hard to find affordable childcare she had to make the choice between staying at home to take care of her kids or uh, and and not being able to go back to work because she could not find childcare and imagine how much harder that is now for parents so we believe very firmly there can be no recovery without investments in child care so that parents and particularly women can get back to work. Uh we we know that parents and and students are worried about the impacts of COVID-19 and we've got a responsibility as a society to make the right choices. So we're calling on the federal government to invest in child care so parents know that their kids can be safe and that there's a place for them to go, make investments in schools to ensure that the experts and the parents uh who want to see small classroom sizes that is achieved. Uh, those are the the things that we want to talk about today and I'll just say that in French as well and then I'll take your questions. Donc euh, encore aujourd'hui on a parlé avec les les parents pour euh, entendre leurs inquiétudes et les étudiants et les parents sont ils ont peur pour euh, l'avenir à cause de Covid-19 et on a une responsabilité de s'assurer que le gouvernement fédéral euh, finance les provinces aide les provinces pour euh, s'assurer que on a on suive les les conseils des experts en matière de santé on suit les les conseils en matière de santé publique et le conseil c'est de réduire les 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 nombres des des étudiants dans les classes donc ça c'est quelque chose de tellement important les 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 parents ont partagé ça mais aussi on sait que pour euh, l'impact de Covid-19 a, a touché les les femmes plus que les hommes et ça c'est complètement inacceptable le fait que maintenant la participation des femmes dans le milieu de travail est la pire dans 30 ans et pour régler ça il faut investir dans la, euh, les services des gardes et c'est pourquoi encore on demande que le gouvernement fédéral investe euh, finance les, les services des gardes aider les provinces pour mettre en place des mesures pour s'assurer qu'on a un assez niveau des services des gardes pour s'assurer que les femmes peuvent retourner au travail ça c'est primordial pour un pour une économie durable, il faut investir dans les services de garde. Uh so with that, I'm ready to take any questions you might have. So yes. Sure, yes. Uh so I, I want to say that um we had a conversation today with parents and with students. And parents are deeply concerned about return to school. And their concern is that the experts have made it clear that we need smaller classroom sizes. New Democrats have been fighting for smaller classroom sizes provincially and at the federal level we pushed and fought to push the federal government to deliver more funding to provinces and it should go towards what the experts are asking for what parents are asking for which is smaller classroom sizes to protect kids to make sure they're safe and to ensure that parents have the confidence that their kids are safe in school uh, that's something very essential we also heard a story which speaks to one of the realities of covid-19 that covid-19 has disproportionately impacted women the job participation rate of women is the lowest in 30 years so any recovery any just recovery to covid-19 has to include funding for childcare every parent needs to be able to return to work and know that their kids are safe particularly women need to be able to go back to work and to do that the only way possible is ensuring that there's access to affordable childcare so we're calling for that we're calling for investments that are tied to the experts advice which is to make sure classrooms are so smaller as new democrats have been fighting for 
But in addition, we need investment in childcare so that parents, particularly women, can work. They can get back to work. That's what we've been asking for today. And I'm prepared to take any questions that you might have. Yes, uh, we've heard a couple of really personal stories. One uh, around the fact that the parents, uh, one of the parents we spoke to today uh, lost her child in, in a really tragic scenario where her child uh, was lost to a flu outbreak in a school. And this is before COVID-19. So this mom has experienced the loss as a result of, of a serious flu. And COVID-19 now is just making is, is reliving a lot of those experiences and she's now become an advocate saying we need to protect our kids we need to make sure they're safer and one of the major major requests uh, for parents and for experts is that classroom sizes be smaller so kids are safer there's less exposure uh, we heard from parents talking about the impacts to racialized communities that some of the hot spots are our communities that have been historically marginalized and we need to make sure that there's investments to help out those communities that have been marginalized, that have been denied equal access to services, and ensure that there are smaller class size, sizes, at least in those communities. But we know this is something that should happen across all school boards, across the entire province, and in fact, across the country. And, and then when it comes to childcare, we've heard really personal stories uh, just today about a mom who was, uh, who was faced with the impossible decision years ago, before COVID-19, where when she had her child, she could not find affordable childcare and could not go back to work. And that is a reality right now. For far too many women, the impact of COVID-19 has been that women have not been able to get back to work. And it, we're seeing the lowest job participation rate for women in 30 years. To fix that, we need to invest in childcare. We need to make sure parents can go back to work, that their kids are safe, and particularly women are able to go back to work. Uh, what we want to see when it comes to any decisions around policies is that the policies are, are, are following the expert advice. The public health advice is really clear here and parents uh, are also feeling that, that classroom sizes should be smaller. But really any decision we make with, with regard to COVID-19 has to be based on the, the science and based on the evidence and the expert advice from public health officials. And that's what they're calling for, smaller classroom sizes. Uh, we've got to do everything possible to make sure kids are safe and so that we have a recovery which keeps us safe so we prevent a second wave or at least reduce the impact of a second wave. Uh, thank you for the question. It's, I think it really helps us sum up what we're going through right now. Uh, what COVID-19 did, it didn't create the problems. It exposed the existing problems because as you said, all those same problems were already there. People were already struggling to find childcare. Parents could not find affordable childcare. It was already a problem. But now with COVID-19, it's made that problem even worse. It's exposed the existing problems and heightened their impact. And so what I want to see now is people realize that we can't get through this alone. We can't fight a global pandemic on our own. The only way we fight it is by coming together and taking care of one another. And I hope now is the opportunity for us to say, well, how can we take better care of one another? One of the things we can do is we can invest in things like childcare, invest in education, make sure our kids are safe and receiving the best education, make sure parents can go to work and that their kids are able to go to a safe and, and uh, affordable, accessible childcare. Uh, on top of that, we want to see investments to make sure our healthcare is better. So we want to take care of people better. We want to fight for people. And I think now is the moment where we can make the decisions to, to change things for the better. Uh, I've said before, we can't go back to normal because normal was a scenario where people were not getting the access to healthcare, the access to childcare. They were not getting the help they needed. And more than ever, we need to go forward to something better where we take better care of one another. Uh, any questions in Punjabi as well? I can I can show my trilingual status. Haji? Tika ji. Te aaj apa galbat ki tiya maapyo de naal. 
ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਫਿਕਰ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਬੱਚੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਮਾਂ ਪਿਓ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਫਿਕਰ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਐਕਸਪਰਟਸ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਕਲਾਸਰੂਮ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਛੋਟੇ ਹੋਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਕੱਟ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੋਣੇ ਚਾਹੀਦੇ ਹਰੇ ਕਲਾਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਸੂਬੇ ਤੋਂ ਨਿਊ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੈਟਿਕ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਐਂਜੋ ਹੋਰਤ ਨੇ ਇਹੀ ਮੰਗ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਥੇ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਵਿਖੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਐਮ ਪੀ ਪੀ ਗਰਤਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦੀ ਨਮੈਂਦਗੀ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਕਲਾਸਰੂਮ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਛੋਟੇ ਹੋਣ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਬੱਚੇ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਅਤ ਹੋਣ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੋਂ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਖੇਤਰ ਤੋਂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਇੱਥੇ ਸੂਬੇ ਤੱਕ ਜਾਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਕਲਾਸਰੂਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਕੂਲਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਕੂਲ ਵਰਕਰਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਮਦਦ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਅਤ ਹੋਣ ਨਾਲ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਚਾਲ ਕੇ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮਾਂ ਪਿਓ ਹੋਣ ਸੋਚ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਪਿਓ ਵਾਪਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਦੇਖਭਾਲ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਘਰੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਪੈ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੋ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਵਾਈਵ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਿ ਚਾਲ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਇਨ ਜਨਰਲ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਉਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਗੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਵਧੀਆ ਬਣਾਉਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਸਿਹਤ ਸਭਾਵਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਪਰੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਪੇਟ ਸਿਕਲੀ ਵੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਹੂਲਤਾਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਵਧ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਚੜ੍ਹ ਦੀ ਖਲਾ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ yes for sure i figured there'd be at least one question on that <laughs> um i i just want to point out with with respect to the we scandal that uh the the shutting down of of we's operations highlights the fact that they were in need of a bailout and it really bolsters the argument as we've been saying that the liberal government was really just trying to help out an organization that was closely aligned with them they were trying to help themselves out and as a result uh, students suffered because the funding could have directly gone to student grants could have gone to canada summer jobs programs could have gone to reducing debt for students that are in debt there could have been immediate supports that went directly to students instead of a program which is clearly designed to help out close friends and to enrich members of the liberal government instead of helping students and on top of that because the prime minister shut down parliament right now we're up against uh, a deadline where many people are going to lose their cert at the end of september and without parliament there are millions of canadians at least 1 and 1/2 million canadians that will not be able to have any supports because there's no legislation in place to make sure they get help so we're calling on a uh, prime minister trudeau to recall parliament earlier so that we can put in place legislation to help out those 1.5 million canadians at least who will have no help come the end of September that is wrong and they need help yeah uh donc uh, canadien qui qui vont être dans une situation de péril sans avoir accès au, au, au à, à la PCU yeah, uh, we are ready uh but it's not our goal our goal is to help out families our goal is to do exactly what we've been doing throughout this pandemic which is to get help to people in need and right now the major priority is with serb ending we know that there's at least 1 and 1/2 million canadians that that cannot uh, access the new ei or serb when it ends so our goal is to make sure those canadians are getting supports we know that small business businesses need to continue to have support and at this time what we've seen is the massive corporations like amazon and walmart have made record profits they profited during this pandemic but small businesses have been forced to shut down uh, that is that is wrong and that is what we're going to continue to fight against we want to see help go to working people to small businesses we need supports to be there so that we don't see this wealth inequality go even further and further apart uh, and so we need to do that work and our goal isn't to find a way to make government fall but our goal is to lift up people I haven't had a direct conversation with the prime minister but I I'm very confident right that prime minister Trudeau and the liberal government know what we want we put it out in the public domain we've talked about three major things one is we know we need a better social safety net we need to make sure people are safe and if they can't go to work there's paid sick leave in place that when people are unable to work that the EI system 
works for all Canadians. Right now it only works for about 40%. We need to make sure EI is there for every Canadian, whether you're freelance, contract, you work precariously, everyone needs access to support in the social safety, uh, social safety net. In addition, we need to see improvements to our healthcare system. We need to see universal pharmacare. When people lost their jobs, they lost their benefits, they lost their ability to buy medication. In a pandemic, the idea that Canadians could not afford the medication is so wrong. And so that's why we're gonna to continue to push for that. And we wanna see a just recovery. The recovery has to be centered around people. And that means investing directly in communities to make them more livable and to help us fight the climate crisis. One example would be to invest in public transit. We know that transportation is a major cost for climate change, for climate crisis. If we invest in public transit, we create local jobs and we also help reduce emissions. So these are some of the major things we wanna see happen. And immediately we want to see students safe in schools and we want to see access to childcare be a priority. So the government already knows our priorities and we look forward to seeing those priorities reflected in the throne speech. But if the government continues down a path where they're focused on themselves, getting caught up in scandals and hurting Canadians, we're ready to explore any option. <laughs> They had said to federal leader Jagmeet Singh, Brampton East, that the main message is that we know that many of the parents are worried. They are very worried about the school system, the school season, about the size of classrooms. We know that the JSC COVID-19 is controlled by the world. It is safer to have smaller class sizes. Today, we have the federal government, the Pasubi government, and we have a clear demand that we have the federal government funding for this specific thing. And in the Pasubi government, we have clearly said that the Ontario NDP has a clear demand that the school has the smaller and safer classrooms. And we can achieve that we have more teachers and higher education. जैसे होर सपोर्ट सर्विसेज जेनरेटर्स ऐसे हायर करिए ये देना फिर ऐसे एक सेफ स्कूल से संबंधा सक दे तो ये साथ एक साथ यू नो आर एडवोकेसी एंड आर कमिटमेंट सुबह वालों के ऐसे इस इश्यू हम वासे ऐसे एडवोकेट करेंगे। You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel.